Hello everyone, and today we are going to discuss the hiring of John John D. Filippo. And more importantly, is this a good hire by the team? Maybe. We're going to go over the one year he had as an offensive coordinator up in Cleveland, which was in 2015. So keep in mind the starting quarterbacks in 2015 for the Browns were Josh McCown, Johnny Manziel, and Austin Davis. McCown starting eight, Manziel six, and Austin Davis two. So keep the numbers in mind with that. I know it might be a little, it's still Cleveland, so I give them a little bit of a pass on some of these things. Uh, they were 25th in total offense, averaging 331.9 yards a game. 22nd in rushing, only getting 95.6, but to me that's kind of what happens when you're in Cleveland. You can only... Th you can only run so much when you're always behind. So 95.6 yards a game probably isn't too horrible given what Cleveland is. And they were tied for 16th in yards per carry at four yards, four yards a pop. So it's not like it was ineffective when they were running. They were 21st in passing offense at 236.4 yards a game. They were 30th in sacks allowed at 53 26th in quarterback rating in 84.0, so just 84 flat. Now, once again, given that the quarterbacks were Josh McCown, Johnny Manziel, and Austin Davis, this is not too bad. This is not horrible. Obviously, he only spent the one year because Cleveland doesn't really know how to stick with people usually and or let them get their own guys in, that kind of shedang thing. So... Now into the actual hiring of John D. Filippo was what kind of offense do we get? Are we getting the more Carson Wentz feel or we're going to constantly be trying to chuck the ball down the field? We're going to get these big chunks. Are we going to get more of what the Nick Foles thing was, which was, oh, some RPOs. We're going to get some timing routes in here. Going to be more short to intermediate kind of stuff. And if the big plays there, we'll try it, but it's not going to be as stable. And I really think this depends on who the quarterback is and which is the next question here. Who's the quarterback for this system? And it really feels like it could be an in-house guy because Sam could be your down the field thrower. Teddy's more of your, well, Teddy and Case are more of your, oh, this is going to be timing, short, intermediate, that kind of thing. But I have a feeling Zimmer would be more willing to go with Teddy Bridgewater than he would Case Keenum at this point, as he hasn't even thrown any kind of confidence behind Case Keenum yet. And I would believe it's between Teddy and Sam. Can it be Cousins? I would think no because of the contract. I know a lot of people saw the Jimmy Garoppolo contract today, that averaging 27.5 mil, and people were like, whoa, now we can't go after Cousins because of what he got. To me, Cousins was already getting 30 mil, so that really didn't deter me from thinking, oh, well, that means Cousins is off the table. It's kind of like, eh, it doesn't really affect much here. And so, can it be Cousins technically? But I would think no because of the how the contracts come up. Because you have Trey Waynes, you can obviously exercise the fifth-year option on him. You have Diggs, who you can't, obviously. And then you have Barr, Kendricks, and Hunter. I would think you would want to keep a good chunk of those guys, and I feel like getting Kirk Cousins really kills that. And then there's this other thing, which is, can it be Nick Foles now that we have D. Filippo? And once again, the answer is technically, but probably not, is because that would involve a trade. And we're already down a four and a seven, so I would think a trade is kind of out of the question. And... I would think Zimmer would be more of the Teddy fan right now than he would be on the Sam Bradford train. So we might see this, for some reason, unstoppable RPO offense working with Teddy Bridgewater, which is a little interesting. But I would think that's the route we're going, probably getting a guy in the second or third round as well at quarterback. And then is this the right choice? Perhaps. Because, I mean, the other choice was Kevin Stefanski, and Kevin Stefanski would have been a guy who would have kept everything, well, maybe not kept everything the same, but he would have kept it similar, adding his own little flair. 
which I was kind of more for that than I was for this, just because there was familiarity. And it's not chucking a whole offense that worked into the river, starting over from scratch, new guy. To me, there was something with Stefanski with him coaching all three of Keenum, Bridgewater, and Bradford at one point during the end of the year. And it was kind of like he, I would trust him the most on saying, this guy is better than the other two. So, obviously we can't do that now, because it looks like he might be heading out to the Giants as their offensive coordinator to be a puppet, because uh, Pat Shermer's got all the players there. And, ultimately, I feel like is going to end up running this kind of spread offense, more timing-based short routes. And with the occasional deep shots, you're getting Dalvin Cook back. And the athletic line was kind of a staple there up in Philly. So that's still going to be a very intricate part of this offense. And I would imagine this is actually not a bad hire, especially since it was, it was on a two-year deal, which to me doesn't matter all too much. And I know some people are saying like, well, this could just be a one-year hire. No, well, it could be, but that's really not that big of a problem. Because if we're talking about him getting a head coaching job next year, things probably went pretty well. So, him getting a head coaching job, oh, being in the running for one next year wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I know we would only have him for one year. But, it is what it is. And I don't think this is a bad hire. I just think I might have preferred Stefanski over him. Strictly because I didn't want to start over from scratch. Like, I have nothing against D. Filippo. Just given the circumstance, maybe would have preferred Stefanski. But this is not a bad hire. I feel like the offense will be efficient at the very least. It should do enough, again, to actually be... To keep us in games at the very least. And... Until next time, I'll bid you adieu.